Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about how a narcissist could never love you. And so many people are trying to get love out of a narcissist. This is why we have toxic relationships, because they're sitting there back and forth fighting, trying to get some love out of that narcissist, trying to get some empathy out of that narcissist. So the problem is when you're dealing with a narcissist, they have a lack of empathy. This is the big thing in knowing whether you're really dealing with a narcissist. There's a couple of different characteristics that make somebody narcissistic, but it's the lack of empathy for you, okay? But why can't a narcissist have love? Why can't they? People feel like, well, if I show a narcissist love, they'll show me back love. No, it doesn't work like that, okay? Because a narcissist has a very small sense of self. They're not fulfilled. They're empty people. They never were validated in their childhood. Most of the time, this is the reason, okay? Either they were the golden child or they came from a toxic, abusive type of household. They never felt validated. They never felt in control. And now they're seeking control throughout their life, okay? So what makes you think you're going to change them? You're not, all right? But the reason that a narcissist can't love, all right, this is the big one, you guys, is because a narcissist can't respect somebody, all right? A narcissist has no respect for you, okay? How do you know they don't have respect for you? Because when you respect somebody, you don't lie to them. And a narcissist is just a liar, when you respect somebody, you don't try to manipulate them to try to get over on them. You don't try to get something from them and not care whether you hurt them. When you love somebody, you want to see them happy, okay? A narcissist doesn't care whether you are happy. As a matter of fact, a narcissist gets pleasure at some narcissists, not all, but get pleasure out of seeing you in pain because misery loves company. Okay. I've seen this throughout my life. All right. With narcissistic people that I've dealt with. And the root of all this is their jealousy. Okay. A lot of times these narcissists, they're just jealous. Something that you got going on in your life. It could be your self-confidence. It could be you're financially better off. It could be you're better looking. It could be because you got more attention from your parents than they did. It could be anything. All right. But they always feel less than, and they have no respect for you. So if they're not going to respect you, they're not going to be able to love you, okay? Because whoever you love, you have to have that, that aspect of respect, okay? In other words, you're not going to do something that is going to upset the other person. You respect them. You don't want that person to feel a certain way. You want that person to feel validated, and a narcissist, and when we talk about covert narcissists, they will disrespect you in many different ways, but they do it in a nonverbal type of manner. In other words, you'll send them a text message, they'll see it comes back on read, and they don't respond to you. Why? Because they don't respect you. They feel that, you know what? I don't have to answer to you. I'm going to show you that I don't have to jump for you. I'll get back to you when I feel like getting back to you. You're unimportant. This is how they don't respect you. All right? Understand that. A covert narcissist, you know, they're very, very secretly jealous. They're sneaky. They pay, they pay you back in a passive-aggressive type of manner. If they respected you, they would want to validate you. A, a covert narcissist, when you try to talk to them, they'll walk out of the room and not hear you out. They will dismiss you. They will ignore you in a room and they're not validating you. So they're not respecting you. They're not respecting your opinion. Okay. Narcissist, when you try to resolve conflict with a narcissist, they don't care what you have to say. Because they don't respect you, all right? They don't care. They just want their own agenda met. And it doesn't matter about whether you like it or not because they have no respect. The only one they care about is satisfying themselves, satisfying their own urges, and everything like this. This is why a narcissist could never love you. A narcissist also 
They love decept deception. This is why a lot of narcissists cheat, okay? It's not even so much about the fact of getting that sex. It's about the thrill of cheating, okay? How do I know? Because I know plenty of narcissists that cheat, okay? And they've told me that it wasn't so much about the cheating. They love the thrill of cheating, knowing that they know something that you don't. So what does that come back to? They've got no respect for you. They think you're a jerk. They think you're a sucker. They think you're a fool, okay? Narcissists think you're a fool. I hate to tell you this, but I have to be honest with you. I was in that position. This is how I know. I was, you know, jerked around by a narcissist. And one of my good friends said, he thinks you're a fool. And I never really understood it at the time. But I understand it now, looking back on it. He really thought that I was a fool. He was smarter than me. He was doing all these kind of shady things. And I was taking him at face value, thinking that he was being honest with me. I was making excuses saying, oh, well, you know, he had a bad childhood. Maybe he doesn't know better or anything like that. He knew exactly what he was doing because later on he told me, I know I hurt you. I know I did this and everything like that. Later on, after you've been through the war with a narcissist, you, you may get an admission from them sometimes and say, well, I know I, I did you dirty or something like that. Not all narcissists will do that. Most of them won't, okay? Most of them will never admit to anything. They'll never ever. They'll always want to leave that seed of doubt in your mind. Why? Because sometimes they want to come back and they feel if you're still doubting whether they did what they did, they could still weasel their way back in. Okay? So they'll never ever own it. All right? So understand this. They just basically, they think they're smarter in their little criminal minds. A narcissist has a criminal type of mind. And what does that mean? That means if they could lie, they're going to lie. If they could cheat, they're going to cheat. If they could steal, they're going to steal. If they could get over, they're going to get over. This is what you're dealing with with a narcissist. They have no moral compass. So if they don't have a moral compass, if they don't follow lo God's laws and principles, which means basically do the right thing, don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal or something like that, all right, how do you expect that person to ever love you? They're not going to. They're going to lie and tell you they love you and, and manipulate you. All they got to do with some people, all they got to do is tell them they love them. And that person just lets everything go. Okay. They're going by somebody's words, not by their actions and behaviors. This is why I tell you, watch their pattern of behavior. Man, this tells you everything. If you look into somebody's prior track record, their history, show me where you've been and I will show you what you are. This is just straight facts, you guys. That's going to tell you what this person's character is. It's all about character, all right? And a narcissist has a shitty character, all right? Why? Because they're a liar, okay? Their, their father is Satan, father of all lies, okay? They don't think anything about lying to you, okay? Because they don't care, all right? A narcissist doesn't care if, if they could get away with it. The only time they'll care is if they feel there's a threat of them getting caught and, and then they care, okay? But if they feel like they could, you know, just give you that word salad and they, they're a fast talker. Narcissists are very fast talkers too, you guys. They will try to out-talk you. They will talk over you. They will be shouting sometimes. They will not even listen to a word you have to say. And what is all this to do? This is to intimidate you to shut your mouth, this is what they do, okay? And who does that? Somebody who doesn't respect you, okay? Understand the difference of somebody who loves you and somebody who doesn't, all right? Somebody who doesn't love you is going to do that. They're going to talk over you. They're not going to care what you have to say. They're not going to care about your boundaries. They're not going to respect anything about you. All right. They're going to feel it's okay to put you down and insult you and, and, and give you jabs and, and make jokes at you and stuff like that. That's not love. You guys stop thinking that's love and stop making excuses for that. All right. There is no way to, you know, there's no such thing as a joke that puts somebody down, all right? 
so if, if you're feeling a certain way because somebody made a wise ass remark or a sarcastic joke, that was intended to hurt you and recognize it. And, and I don't give a fuck what that narcissist says. Okay. They were trying to give you a jab to hurt you. So that's not somebody that loves you. That's somebody that's trying to push you down and put you in your place because they want to be on top. They want the control. They want the power. Okay. They want to be the dictator. Okay. With a narcissist, they want to dictate what they do. They want to dictate how you live your life. They want to dictate who your friends are. Sometimes they're going to dictate how you look. They're going to have something to say about everything, okay? They're critical, they're judgmental, and they're proud, all right? That is not somebody who is of God. That is not somebody who is of love. That is somebody who's disrespecting you and trying to put you down to lift themselves up. So when you're dealing with somebody who's got a very low sense of self, they're insecure, okay? How the hell do you think that person is going to love you? They're not, okay? They're not because they're never going to be happy for you, all right? They're always going to feel low about themselves. So this is the problem. The problem is that these narcissists were never validated. They never felt the control in their life. So they got this constant chase for control throughout their life. They want to control everything and they want to control you. And that's not love. Understand that, all right? Now, there's different degrees of how narcissistic a person can be. Narcissism is on a spectrum. So you could have somebody with zero empathy and be cruel. And then you could have somebody that has some narcissistic traits, but, you know, can show you kindness here or there, all right? So you've really got to look at whoever you're dealing with and say to yourself, really, how empathetic is this person? Could I call this person in an emergency and know that I could, this person's going to be there for me? Or is this person going to be like a covert narcissist and ghost you or tell you they lost their phone or their battery died so they can get out of trying to help you because they have no empathy for you. They don't care about you. They don't care about your hard times. You're a burden to them. When you bring up problems to them, they don't want to hear it. They don't care about your problems. They're going to dismiss you and tell you, Oh, you know, get over it. You make it a big deal over it and everything like that. And there's a lot of people that are going through narcissistic abuse after being in a relationship. They're still hurting after leaving the narcissist. And they go to these outside people and tell them, you know, I'm still upset about the narcissist and everything like that. And these people have no empathy. Why? Because you're surrounded by other narcissistic people that have no empathy, that tell you, get over it, okay? Oh, you make it a big, get over it. You know why? Because they're not, they're not going through it, so they don't care, all right? You know, it's a lot easier to tell somebody else to get over it when it's, when it's not you who it's affecting, all right? And that's somebody who's cold and unempathetic, all right? So understand that these people are not showing you empathy because you may be surrounded by narcissistic people that just don't want to hear it, don't want to be burdened and are looking at you like, well, you know, why are you so weak? You knew they were bad. Get over it already. You know, these are not your supporters, gang. All right. These are not your supporters. So understand this, you know, back to the topic at hand. You want to be loved some by somebody? Somebody who loves you is going to build you up. Somebody who loves you is not going to want to see you unhappy. Somebody who truly loves you is not going to cheat on you, okay? Because they, they, they have a moral compass and they respect you and they wouldn't want to do that to you, okay? But what a lot of narcissists, how they try to manipulate people and try to play like they're not the cheater or something like that, is they'll say something to the effect of, oh, you know, I could never cheat on you because I know that pain and I, I would never want it done to, to me. You know, I know what that pain is, so I could never do it to somebody else. This is game. When somebody tells you that, they are playing game on you, okay? That is what a lot of cheaters and a lot of narcissists say. They try to say, well, I could never cheat on you because I know that pain and I won't. Understand also, you guys, that when somebody loves you, 
They're going to show you kindness, okay? They're going to show you understanding. They're not going to be critical and judgmental. When somebody loves you, they're going to want to comfort you when you're going through something difficult. They're going to offer and try to make things better for you. They're not going to abandon you, okay? Narcissists abandon people when they're in trouble, okay? When somebody gets sick, when somebody has financial problems or something like that, the narcissist gets going. When the tough gets going, the narcissist gets going and they don't want to deal with it. They're not a ride or die kind of person. And the way you're going to know that is if you're going through something rough, if that narcissist is there for you or they're not there for you. And a lot of times they're not going to be there for you. They're going to abandon you and they're going to move on to somebody else that they don't have to deal with problems. Narcissists don't want to deal with problems. Narcissists don't want to deal with conflict. Narcissists just want to do what they want to do. You know, uh, live the good life, the party life. They don't want the boringness of life. They want a good time and anybody that brings any kind of hardships to them, they don't want to deal with and they are going to abandon. That is not love. Okay. Understand that. So that's a good way to test somebody. If you tell somebody that you're going through something rough, see what their response is to that. Okay. See if they're understanding of that and if they're still around or after you tell them if they're making excuses and they're avoiding you and everything like that. Okay. Okay. So that'll tell you who's, who's, you know, who's got a kind heart and who doesn't understand this. All right. When we talk about love, we're talking about God. God is all about love. All right. A narcissist is not about God. Understand that. This is why so many people, they call them demons because they don't have the Holy Spirit within them to know to do the right thing or to do the kind thing, all right? They're not kind, all right? They could show kindness at times, and this is how they fool you. So many people have told me they've dealt with covert narcissists that could be very, very nice and, and kind of pretend to show empathy. This is all an act. They show empathy or they pretend to be humble and all that. But if you watch their pattern of behavior, it's not consistent, all right? And that's how you're going to know you're dealing with a shady covert narcissist because they can't keep it up. They're going to turn cold on you, all right? So understand that narcissists, they don't have a moral compass. They don't believe in doing what's the right thing. They do whatever is, is going to be to their benefit. They feel, you know, this is how you survive in this world, you know, everybody's shady. So you got to get yours. This is how a narcissist thinks. I got to get mine. All right. So they're not going to worry about, they're not worried about love. Okay. Narcissists are worried about mater material things. They're wor worried about, you know, having a nice house, having a nice car, appearing to be the perfect family. So many people that have narcissistic parents, these parents try to put on this facade that they have the perfect family, but meanwhile, they're not talking to this one or they're not talking to that one or they're putting this one down or something like that, all right? Understand this, okay? You see this in narcissistic families as well. Narcissistic families are very proud, okay? It's not about love. When you have a narcissistic family, it's not about love. It's about pr uh, being proud, okay? This is why so many... People do not talk to each other in a narcissistic family because it's they don't put their, their pride to the side and say, okay, let me put my pride aside and try to work with this person. And, and the other person is, you know, willing to work with you. No, there's always that wall up. They don't let their wall down because they don't trust anybody. So it's not love. So a narcissist, because they have no trust, because they don't respect you, they will not ever fucking love you, okay? You need to get away from these people, all right? They're jealous. They want to see you they want to see you go down, okay? They they are very they're basically miserable people that are pretending to be something that they're not, okay? They're pretending to be something that they're not, and guess what? 
if you're not feeding their ego, and even if you are feeding their ego, they're going to get tired of you, okay? So you can never win with a narcissist. You've got to just walk away from it and understand that, you know what? This person has no respect for me. They lie. They try to manipulate me. They're not being transparent with me, okay? This is how you know. If somebody can't be transparent with you, they don't trust you enough. And if they don't trust you enough, they can't love you. Understand that, all right? That's the core of it, you guys. I hope that helps you. If it does, please hit the subscribe button. Please share the podcast. And I'm losing my voice this morning, okay? Have a great day, you guys. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it. Go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question, and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at The Game EXP123 and also on Instagram. The game EXP one, two, three. Okay. And have a great day.